Greetings everybody, I am Brian D0313, and today we are continuing Final Fantasy V. Previously, the wind crystal shattered, the wind is drawn. Uh, we met a, uh, uh, asteroid meteor has fallen to the, fallen to the world. We met up with our hero, the protagonist, as well as, uh, two comrades, Lena and Galuf. Galuf, the mindless fool. We teamed up with them, and now we're, uh, trying to head to tools, but the road is blocked. So now we gotta go into the cave. Into the cave. Let's go, Boko. No? What's going on? A cave in such a place! It must... It must have been formed by the earthquake. Boko, it's dangerous ahead. You've got to stay back here. Nods in work. Okay, inside. So, uh, now we have three characters. If I figure out how to get to the menu, there we go. So we got zero. So our stats. It's got 25 agility. It's got decent strength. Uh, zero is our powerhouse in this game. He's our main melee character. He's got the best strength. Lena, female. She has 26 agility, strength 25, and, uh, she's our, our, uh, she has the best magic in the game. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, so she has the best magic in the game. Pressing, uh, the A button lets you switch between characters. And then there's Galuf, who is our, uh, who is, uh, what's his ability? He is, uh, the best, uh, stamina, I believe. Uh, let's see. 25, 20, uh, 20, 25, 27. 25, 27. Yeah. So he's got the best vitality. I believe that's what stamina is. But since, uh, Nina... Oh, we're going to, uh, we don't have any magic yet. Or black magic or damage or any of this stuff yet. So right now, our equip, we have a broadsword and leather armor. Leather dress, leather armor. We're going to remove the broadsword. And we're going to equip it onto Lena because she has the most stamina. Then we're going to give the, uh, that dagger, that, 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 uh, knife she had over to, uh, Zero. Because she'll get, in, she'll get the first hit in, so, might as well do that. So we come up here, and we get into a battle. Steel bats, Lena, see, Lena fights first, kill the bat, and we're going to bolt, and, uh, Zero and Galva are going to fight the back row. Kill him. Guess Galif gets two hits in. Cool. Yeah, so uh, in this game, uh, unlike in uh, Dragon Warrior, there's uh, rows. Front row usually takes the most pounding, because you're like up front. Back row usually takes less pounding, but uh, their attack is less as well, because they have to uh, go farther to hit. Usually you want your uh, mages in the back and your fires up front. But then again, uh, your, uh, your characters with... Uh, Long range weapons like bows and uh, flails and boomerangs, stuff like that. Uh, you can have them in the back row because uh, back row doesn't really affect the attack power of long range weapons. But we'll get into that later. So let's go up to here and exclamation mark that spring. What's going on? Go over here and check out the spring. And we get some new enemies. Can't zero. Let's say a crowd to me. Kill him, Galif. Kill him, Galif. You failed, Galif. You're a failure. Stupid old man. Should've left you behind. Right. Nina gained a level. Galif gained a level. And we're here. Check out the spring. And this is a spring of recovery. Hit points and magic points restored. <coughs> Status restore and uh, anyone dead is uh, re is uh, re revived back to life. Now I'd like to point out that later on in the game, we don't have the option to pick up uh, one of two items, two very powerful items. And we only have one of them, I believe. One of them is uh, well, they're both weapons, and one of them is uh, it starts out very powerful, but it gets weak as a uh, after as a uh, after more at uh, <laughs> my words are messed up. Uh, the more run, more times you run in battle, the weaker it gets. So 
and that's from uh, start of the game to end of the game. So, uh, and then there's another weapon that starts out very weak, but the more battles you run from, the uh, stronger it gets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want the one that starts from weak and gets the stronger, because that's the better option. Because you never know how many battles you're going to run from. So what I'm going to do here is, since I'm near a recovery sprint, I'm just going to run back and forth uh, for 15 battles. And recover up when needed, and I'll meet you back shortly. And we are back, people. Uh, I ran from 15 battles, plus plus, mate, plus or minus one, you never know. And I uh, recovered up. So, uh, I forgot to mention that uh, while you're running, make sure to put your characters in the back row so they take less damage. Because you're not going to be fighting at all. But now we're going to put them back in the front row. Could probably keep Galf in the back row. He's trying to be useless without a weapon. Let's just move on. And another treasure chest. Some uh, stropers and a steel bat. Steel bats are flying, so uh, usually uh, ranged weapons work better on uh, flying creatures. And Galf gets a critical hit in. Now, I forgot to mention, you see that bar, I just pointed at the screen, you see, uh, uh, well, let's just go over the screen. We got the, on, um, we got, at the top part is the, uh, is the characters. On the left is our enemies, on the right is our characters. Sometimes we'll get a back attack where we'll, we'll be on the left and they'll, and the character, and the enemies will be on the right. And we do, and if we do get back attack, then that means our, uh, rows get switched. So whoever's in the back row is in the front row, and the front row is the back row. So be careful of that. Uh, uh, enemies have rows as well. Back row, I, bl I believe the enemies have rows as well. Back row takes less damage. Front row takes more damage. In the lower left hand corner, it says Stroper. That's the name of the enemies. Then on the right is our characters. We got Zero, Lena, and Galuf. HP is hit points. I kind of wish that they showed uh, magic points. Don't know why they didn't do that. And then to the right is something new to Final Fantasy. It's the... Uh, it's the action bar. I forgot what it's, at, what it's called. I know in uh, Final Fantasy, Fantasy Tactics it's called a CT bar, I think. And what that is, is that it, uh, once it charges up, uh, then, once it charges up, then, uh, what am I thinking? Once it charges up, then we get to have our next turn. And it's kind of based on, on agility. Uh, the, the higher the, your agility, the, uh, the uh, higher up the starting point is on it, and then it has a fixed uh, increase level. So it doesn't go faster; it just starts at at a higher higher section, and then it just goes at goes at the same rate as all the other ones. So be mindful of who uh, your uh, who has the most agility there. That's why Lena is our main attacker right now. Zero gained a level. Let's go pick up that treasure. Hmm. Pirate! Hide! And we hug the wall. Hmm. What is that? It is a secret switch to a trap door. Not trap door. Hidden door. That button. Lips are chapped. What's in here? Leather helmet. Uh... Status, uh, hero, he has, uh, one defense, oh. How did I do this last time? You can't, maybe you can't do it, uh, there we go. One defense, one defense, one defense. So, yeah, we'll just equip, was it a helmet? We'll give it to Galif. Because he needs something, he only has one item, we have two. Might as well share communism for the win. And we get attacked again. Some steel bats. For some of these battles, I'm kind of impatient, so I might just uh, flip the uh, fast forward button. Just during when I can't. Times when I'm not really doing anything. Water? And what is this? What's that? 
it's a ship, but it's moving. How's it moving when there's no wind? It makes no sense. It's irrational. That ship, how does it sail without wind? Dot 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 question mark. And we're all confused. <laughs> I love those little bubbles. They're pretty funny to look at. Let's go up to here and into the next area. Ooh, pirate flags. But, uh oh, what's going on? Pirate! Flaming pirate. Hmm. Whatever shall we do? We're outnumbered. This must be the pirate's hideout. So, that ship we saw was a pirate ship, maybe? Maybe it was just a trade ship. Who knows? I wonder if we couldn't get a ride. Yeah, let's just ask them for a ride. Why don't we? And why don't we tell them you're a princess as well? Uh, these are pirates we're talking about, Lena? Do we know how things work around here? They'll probably eat us. Parlay. Pirates of the Caribbean. Well, then, we haven't but to sneak the ship ourselves. What do you want us to do? Steal their ship? Doesn't it take more than three people to, like, command a, a ship like that? Hey, old man, you're more daring than I thought. Ha ha ha, I'm Galf, I'm badass like that. And the pirates are sleeping. I'm kind of curious as to what that does. So he's asleep. Uh, we could talk to him, but it's just going to be z z z in. He's asleep. So is that guy up there. We can't really get past them. But we don't have to worry about fighting them. So we go over here, and that's a long dock. And we found a ship. Uh, can we go downstairs? I don't think there's any treasure on the ship, so we'll just uh, go take over the helm while we still have the time. This is actually a pretty nice looking ship. Up here at the helm. Do I have to press the button? Yes, I do. Press the A button. And we're off! Yes? No? Are we moving? Yes, keep on pounding it, Zero. You'll get it working soon enough. Zero, what's wrong? I don't know. It's no use. It won't move at all. What's going on here? Seriously? Really? Come on, game. Maybe it was our imagination. And just what do you think you're doing? Huh? Hey, it's that guy from earlier. The flaming uh, pirate. Ferris. How bold are you? How bold you are? Just going to sneak in here and steal my ship, eh? Trying to give him like a gay accent, because he is kind of gay. Don't you know who I am? I am Princess Tycoon. Nina, I apologize for trying to take your ship like that. A princess? Yeah, tell him you're a princess, huh? Oh, wait, we didn't know she was our princess? Tycoons? Princess? <laughs> that was bad of Gallop. Please, please lend us your ship. I must get to the wind shrine. My father is in danger. Hmm. <laughs> eh? Your Tycoon's princess? Ooh, this one's gonna be worth a lot. Yeah, let's ransom her. Stop! And I just pulled it out. We will fight you. We have... Well, it's only two to one. I think we can handle them. I, be I beg you. Please don't do this. I got a flashy thing. That pendant. Man, it's been a while since I did like a gay voice. That pendant. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can't do it. I don't get it. Maybe I, maybe I have to steal it off your chest and sell it. Keep them locked up. Yes, Captain. Aye, aye. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. And we're being dragged away. Hmm. And we're tied up. I wonder if they took our weapons. And Dallas jumps. This is great. Who the heck said we should steal this boat anyways? You dumbass. Hey there, old man. I think it was you. Idiot. Kick him in the balls. Uh-oh. Uh, uh. My head hurts. I 
can't remember a thing. I'm an idiot. I'm insane. I'm old. What a convenient excuse. Last time I ever listened to a talking many old man like you. But that sure was a shock that Lena was the princess of Tycoon. Ooh, maybe I can marry her. Marry into royalty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasn't intended to hide it. But why were you going to the wind shrine by yourself? All alone? Don't you have, like, soldiers back at Tycoon Castle? Roller Coaster Tycoon, maybe? Because my father is there. And when the wind stopped, I thought something bad had happened. So I stuck out of the castle alone, and then the meteor came falling from the sky. Whatever shall we do, and it is night time. Will we escape? Will we make it to the wind shrine? What is the deal with Ferris? We will find out next time. This has been Brian D0313 saying, See ya and have a good day, folks.